Tavins are winning. The Tavins are giving you versatility. I mean, it's laying flat. You look natural. I am in love. Y'all better go check out Full Shine here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon, and today I'm sharing with you how I installed these beautiful tape-in extensions by Full Shine Hair. For the best beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and of course, relaxed hair content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a video. You don't want to miss it. So first, you want to subscribe, and second, click that bell. <laughs> Click it, click it, subscribe, and click it, subscribe, and click it. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video right now before you forget. And also, follow me on IG at Love Sharon Pratt for beauty and fashion inspiration. Trust me, you won't regret it. Go ahead and give your girl a follow. <laughs> okay, so before we get into this beautiful, flawless tape in install, I want to first give a big thank you to Full Shine Hair for sponsoring this video. So this video is in collaboration with Full Shine Hair on Amazon. I was so excited when Full Shine Hair reached out to me for this collaboration. I've always wanted to try tape in hair extensions, but I never did. I was actually scared. I thought it would be better for me to get it professionally done, which is one of the main reasons why I never tried to install tape ins myself. But I was like, okay, Sharon, you could do this. You know, you know, we, we make stuff look good, okay? So let's give these tape ins a try. And as you can see, for my first install, I'ma say I did the thing. Like I did this hair, okay? But seriously, y'all, like I'm in love with these tape ins. Like, look at this. All the info on these tape in extensions will be down in the description box below as well as the direct link. So let's get into this hair review. Okay, so let me know what does she look like? Do I look good? Did I do a good job? Because at this moment in time, I am very nervous. Give me a thumbs up if I did a good job. So I have my full shine tape in extensions right here. They're 100% human hair. So I have them right here. I got two different colors. So I have the 1B. It matches my hair color exactly. Perfect match. And then I wanted to do some highlights of blonde. So I'm going for a highlighted look. So I did get a set of ombre. And I believe the color for this was 1B627. Love this color. It looks great. The quality of the color is amazing. I love the different tones of blonde and browns. I did wash them, co-wash them with conditioner. Then I blow dried them dry and then I did do a light, light, a very light flat iron. I was nervous. I wasn't sure if I should wash them first being that this is adhesive. I was just very careful and I didn't wet the tape part. But this texture isn't the original texture of the hair. When you get it, it's very, very silky. But I prefer this more for my hair texture. So I love the feel of the hair. The hair is very soft. I'm excited to put it in my hair and to see how it wears. But first impression, the hair is very soft. Um, it's thick from root to tip. So look at those tips. Look at the ends. Very even like a blunt cut so i love that so yeah my first impression of the hair very nice silky it's very full it has a shine to it a natural shine as you can see it's shining i'm excited so i already have my hair sectioned out so you want to leave enough hair out around the perimeter so you can put your hair up in a ponytail and i'm going to get started The tape is off and I'm going to place it on my hair. This is 
is hard like I could barely see let me say this this is not a tutorial by no means I'm just sharing with you how I install these tapins like I said this was my first time installing tapins so my technique isn't the best um, I did a lot of research on YouTube to learn how to install the tapins and where to place them. I'm not quite sure what my strategy is going to be with installing these clippings and the color to get it to blend nicely. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have more color, more blonde, um, the ombre color on top, and then the bottom more brown, dark at the bottom. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna go for. That's what all my images look like that I liked. Those, that's what the hair looks like. So I think I'm gonna go for that look. So I believe it was easy for me to install the tapins because I am a clip-in girl and I clip in my hair often. I'm most of the time wearing clip-ins. So I know exactly the placement of where I like to put my clip-ins. So I just follow that with my tapings how I decided to install my tapings and that helped out a lot so if you're used to clipping in your hair don't worry that will definitely help with you installing your tapings so how much hair did I use for this install so I used all the hair that I got I like a lot of hair I like full hair so I used all the hair I had I was sent two sets of tapings each were 50 grams I believe yes 50 grams and they each came with 20 pieces but when you install the tapins as you saw so you have to sandwich your hair between two tapins so don't think 20 I have 20 um, pieces no you really have 10 because you have to use two so I use all the hair so I use 40 pieces which equals 20 sandwiches so 20 pieces I used in my hair okay so at this point I have done three rows two rows of 1B and one row of the 1B ombre color so I decided to go ahead and part my hair how I wanted it, it to be so I can start placing the tape ends strategically because it's all about strategy when it comes to clip-ins and tape-ins. So I'm going to do a deep side part. That's why I part my hair this way. But um, I am enjoying the clip-ins and I like the feel of them. They're laying very flat. So I'm excited to finish. <sighs> it's just the color. If it was all one color, we would be good. But the color is what's making me take forever and really thinking hard about the placement of the tape-ins. So I am going to proceed. So I will say that I did use all two sets of my tapings, but I would recommend that you have no less than three sets. So I feel like if I had three sets, my hair would, would be flawless. I mean, it looks good now, it looks amazing. I love how it came out, but it could be perfection if I had another set and another set of the ombre color, the 1B627 color. If I had an extra set of that, ugh, it would be perfection. So I do have a, quite a bit of brown in the back of my head. It is blending in pretty good with the ombre blonde, but if I had more hair, it would look even better. So I'm just a perfectionist. That's the perfectionist in me, but I'm telling you, if you want a flawless perfection, like perfect install, you definitely need three sets of tapings and four if you like very full hair. If you want very, very full hair, go with four. Three for natural, four for a full glam look. So that's just my advice. Do not do two. Two is not enough. Two is not enough. Do at least three. Okay, so I just put in my last tape in and look at that blend. Look at my hair. It looks so good, so natural. Like, do y'all see that? Look at it. I can put it up in a ponytail. It's so versatile. I am just so in love with this install. So good. Too good. Look at that. Oh, so natural. Look at that length. 
So you know I gotta do my signature side part look where I pull my hair behind my ear. I'm going to go in with some Eco Styler Gel and an edge brush and slick these edges down. And I'm just going to just perfect my look even further. So at this point, your girl is done. I am loving my install. Ugh, I'm in love. Just like that, lovies, we are done. So I'm very happy with how my install turned out. It looks very good, very natural. This is the flattest install I've ever had with extensions. Definitely hands down with these tape-ins. When I say I am in love with how flat my hair is, it's super flat, not bulky at all. If you place your hand on my head, you, you won't feel anything. It feels like it's my hair. I slept in the tape-ins, you can't feel them at all. I don't feel any tension on my scalp or my hair. So I'm feeling very good, very secure, happy about these tape-ins. So like I said before, this is my first time trying tape and hair extensions and I am in love with them. Definitely a game changer. Hands down, I'm so sad that I'm so late with trying tape-ins. I'm very late. I was loving my clip-ins, but listen, I don't know. The quality of the hair is amazing. The thickness is consistent. It's thick from root to tips. The hair feels very soft. It has a natural shine and I have no issues with the hair. So when I co-washed the hair, there was no tangling, no shedding, there was no smell. The hair has absolutely no smell, which is a plus, which is what we love. I'm so excited. So it had no smell. It's real human hair, so it's 100% human hair, so you can put heat on it, you can dye it. So I received this hair in 22 inches, so she is very long. The tapings are long, okay? 22 inches so it's very long but for now I love the hair and I'm in love with these tape-ins so let's talk about this color this color is amazing I am loving this color I said I am going to incorporate more blondes and color into my hair and the best way to do that is with extensions so I knew that I wanted to go for a highlight color um, look so I decided to do the 1B and then the ombre color to blend it in with my hair because my hair is a 1B dark brown and I love how it turned out how it's gradual how it's balayage the different highs and lows of the color this color is amazing Okay, so let's talk about price. So for the 1B set, 20 pieces, 50 grams is $64.99. And the ombre set, the 1B6, 27 for 20 pieces and 50 grams is $71.99. I'm not too familiar with tapins, but for the quality I'm experiencing right now and just my thoughts about hair extensions and costs, I believe that it's affordable and reasonable. Okay, so I have nothing bad to say about these tape-ins. Like I said a million times, I love them. If you are hesitant to try tape-ins, if you're nervous, definitely don't be. Don't be nervous, girl. Don't be nervous. It's going to change your life. It's going to change the way you think about extensions like so those are my thoughts on these beautiful tape and hair extensions by full shine hair so once again i want to give a huge thank you to full shine hair for sponsoring this video thank you so much for introducing me to these beautiful tape ends i am so in love with them and i know i'm going to wear them again 
for sure. Make sure you go and check out Full Shine Hair. I'll also have the direct link to this hair as well as all the information on this hair in the description box down below. Comment down below and let me know have you ever tried taping extensions or are you late like me? Are you just jumping onto the trend? Let us know in the comment section down below. Check out these videos next for more beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and of course, relaxed hair content. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share it with all your friends. Thanks, lovies, and I'll see you in the next one.